well how much social security ssi ssdi va survivors and retirement beneficiaries will be going to receive we have got all the important details regarding the exact amount benefit increases for all the social security ssi ssdi recipients recently there have been new projection have been released regarding how much social security beneficiaries will be likely getting the monthly raise in their monthly benefits and there are also some adjustment and some new projections regarding medicare I wanted to talk everything in detail in turn how much you'll be going to receive in your monthly benefits. I'll be breaking down all the important numbers in terms of real dollar to dollar benefits, all the exact amount how much you'll be going to receive. So guys this video is gonna be very important for all the social security beneficiaries so make sure to hit that like, share this video with your friends and make sure to turn on all the bell notifications so you'll stay up to date on all the latest information and without further ado let's jump right into all the details. Details. However, quickly before we start, let me show you the Social Security July benefit payment schedule, the exact dates or the key dates. Alright, so on to the 1st of the July, you'll be not going to receive your July SSI checks. Instead, those will be coming in one day early, that is on June 30. So mark your dates, all the SSI recipient mark 30th of the June for your SSI checks, July SSI checks to arrive. The next important date is the 3rd of the July. Typically, all those Social Security recipients will receive their payment on July 3rd, 3rd of the month. Please check out 3rd of the july it's a monday completely normal day no holiday so do check out third of the july for your social security payment next one we are talking about those group of beneficiaries who receive their payment based on their birth date so if your birth date falls between first to tenth of the month then do check out 12th of the july for your benefits if your birth date falls between 11 to 20th of the month then be sure to check out 19th of the july for your benefits to be deposited if your birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month then guys be sure to check out 26th of the july for your benefits to be deposited in your banks mails or direct deposit cards all right guys now let's discuss about some projection numbers and illustrate how these projections will translate into real dollar value real amount of monthly benefits in your pocket each and every month now please remember that these are rounded examples and the actual benefit amounts may actually vary based on the cola numbers and the purpose of these numbers to give you a general idea what will be your monthly benefit raise moving forward on a monthly basis. So let's get right into all the details and let me show you the actual numbers how much your benefits will be going to increase. Now like I mentioned in my previous videos new projections are suggesting 3.2% COLA next year. Alright guys let's discuss about the current SSI benefits. As for the latest projections the COLA is suggested at 3.2% for SSI beneficiaries and the current maximum benefit benefit for SSI beneficiaries $914 per month average benefits. So if the projected 3.2% increase were to be considered, if the 3.2% COLA holds true, let me show you the calculation. So to calculate 3.2% of $914, we'll multiply this figure and here we got $29. That's your monthly benefit increase. Now to calculate the new benefit amount that you'll be going to receive and that comes at around $900. $43.25. Now, of course, if you take in account a yearly benefit increase for $29, that comes down to about $348, which is a quite a significant amount of increase. Now, I want your opinion, guys. Do let me know what you think about it. Whether $943 is enough as an increase in your monthly benefits, this $29 per month is good enough for your monthly raise. Do let me know in the comments down below. If you take in account 3.2% cost of living adjustment for SSI married couples then we are talking about $1,371 as their maximum average benefits calculating 3.2% COLA and we get increase of about $44. To calculate the new benefits we need to add the $44 with our new benefits and the new benefit comes at around $1,414 for SSI married couples. Alright guys now let's discuss about some projection numbers social security SSI SSDI VA 
ADA survivors and retirement beneficiaries and illustrate how these projections will translate into real dollar value, real amount of monthly benefits in your pocket each and every month. So for instance, so if you currently receive $600 benefit, your benefits would be increasing by $19 resulting in total payment of $619. If you receive $700, your payments would be $722 per month. If you receive $800, your benefits would be $825 per month. If you receive $900, benefit would be resulting in $928 per month. If you receive $1,000 benefit, your benefit would be increasing by $32. So your benefit payment will be $1,032. Now, once again, it's not a substantial amount of raise, but it's actually something that we are going to receive. Now, here is the thing, guys. Although, let's say, for example, $1,000, $32 may not seem like a much amount of money on a monthly basis, it accumulates to around $380 per year, which is extra $380, which is certainly come in handy on a yearly basis. So like I promised, we'll be going to touch upon Medicare. We need to consider the entire picture to fully grasp the implication. There is another aspect to consider that is Medicare Part B premium, which may see increase by 4.5%. Let's break it down what exactly it means for you, your benefits, your monthly checks. Now, in 2023, Medicare Part B premium stands at $164.90 per month. What will be going to exactly happen? A premium increase by 4.5%. Applying 4.5% increase to $164.90 per month premium would result in additional $7.40 of increase, bringing the premium $172 per month up. So let's go through some of the examples. So you see. $600 on a monthly basis. So with additional COLA increase, you'd be getting $19 per month extra. However, subtracting $7 Medicare Part B premium increase, now you left up with only $12 on a monthly increase. Not so cool. Even those group of people receiving $1,000, their increase would be $32. Subtracting $7 from it, it will provide you additional $25 per month. Those who receive $700 benefit you would see about $22 raise as per the cola but taking the part B premium your monthly increase would be reduced to just $15 per month those who receive $800 benefit would see increase of normally $25 per month Medicare part B premium reduces to $18 per month increase those receiving $900 your benefits would be increased by $28 on a monthly basis but taking off the Medicare part B premium minus $7 and and you would be left up with just $21 increase on a monthly basis. So as you can see, cost of living adjustment may bring some extra money, but again, Medicare Part B takes a significant portion of the money. Like I said, these are the projections. Nothing is yet set in stones. However, guys, the great thing about SSI beneficiary is that you are enrolled in the Medicare, not Medicare. Therefore, you don't need to worry about Part B premium as these deductions won't affect other beneficiaries. However, it's one less thing that you should be concerned about why we should consider the projections when they are not set in stones. Well, here is the deal. As we move closer and closer to the deadline for the final numbers to roll in, the projection becomes more and more accurate because we get more and more data points, additional data, and the pictures become clearer and clearer. These projections will help us understand the direction where the things might be heading over to. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe, and this is Kedar from How to Guys. See you in the next video.